Live from Barcelona, Spain, it's theCUBE, covering Cisco Live 2018. Brought to you by Cisco, Veeam, and theCUBE's ecosystem partners. We're back, I'm Stu Miniman, and here, we're here in the DevNet zone at Cisco Live 2018, beautiful Barcelona. Happy to welcome to the program, first time guest, Mike Bundy, who is the head of Global Strategic Alliances with Pure Storage. Thanks Hi, so much Sue. for joining us. Thank you, thanks for having me. All right, so first time guest, give us a little bit about your background. You're relatively okay. new to Pure, but you know this ecosystem quite well. Absolutely, so relatively new with Pure. Uh, spent 21 years at Cisco leading various technology groups in the company. Uh, most recently from there, led the Global Enterprise Data Center Salesforce. So uh, a lot of background experience around cloud, um, you know, virtualization, automation in the data center space. So very excited to be at Pure. All right, so it, it, when you talk about Pure here at the Cisco show, I, I know right. it's flash stack, but give us a little bit of the kind of the breadth and the depth of the relationship there. Uh, you hear a lot of themes talked about at this show, everything from Correct. you know IoT and uh, you know just the future of where all these technologies are going. Correct. So where, where's the, the intersection? Yeah, so FlashStack uh, is a partnership that Cisco and Pure have to deliver converged infrastructure uh, in the marketplace. And you know what differentiates us is really our ability to derive high, high performance. Um, you'll definitely see value as you deploy just about any database application. Um, it drives a much more economical, um, valuable solution to the customer base as a result of that and we're poised to capture new trends in the marketplace with explosion of IoT, um, intelligence, uh, whether it's deep learning neural networks or business intelligence uh, with the likes of a SAP uh, or you know, various other applications deployed on Hadoop infrastructure, so. Yeah, I uh, want to unpack some of those because you, you said a lot there. So uh, our research from Wikibon, you, know, you said coming into 2018, I mean, data's at the center of it all. Absolutely. When you talk to Cisco, data, you know, majorly important, you know, it's not just moving at things, but how do we get value out of the data? Right. So, you know, maybe let's start with, you know, IOT, you, you mentioned in there, how does, you know, a company, I think of Pure, it's a storage company, you know, how, how, does, how does Pure have an impact and relationship uh, on the IOT discussion? Right, so, I mean, IOT in itself is driving a huge explosion in terms of the amount of data. Absolutely. Um, you know, it'll be, in, in two years, according to IDC, it'll be 20 times th um, the amount of capacity on the internet will be the amount of data that's created. So for us, uh, deploying a platform that is al allows you to really take data and look at it as a, a platform and how you use it is really one of our strengths at the company. So our software set is called uh, Pure One and it really takes a look and helps you handle and manage that data very differently than any of the other uh, traditional storage you know, solutions that have been in the marketplace. Uh, but it was all built on the f foundation of Flash, so you get the scale and you get the performance that Flash brings at the same time. So very, very powerful and we're, we're glad to see trends uh, driven by OT to, to drive that explosion for us. Yeah, let's, g g fl Flash stack, you know, let's talk a little bit about it. What is interesting to customers these days, uh, you know, the, the, the trend of converged infrastructure right. now has gone on for over eight years. Yes. Uh, you know, there's the buzz of hyper-converged, there's, you know, cloud, uh, you know, is, is kind of front and center. Why is converged infrastructure in general and, and Flash stack specifically so important today? Yes. So if you, if you break down the market in terms of where converged infrastructure fits, uh, you know, it's both in the, the hybrid cloud and the private cloud side of things. Uh, there's still tremendous growth in the private cloud world where we see a lot of deployments there. Uh, you know, if you look at the solution, it's very um, cohesive with what Cisco has from a UCS standpoint. It's a stateless platform. It's very simple to manage. Uh, it's very scalable. Uh, you can get you know, 10 times the rack density from a storage and compute perspective with a flash stack than you can the competitors. So it's really you know, an innovative, modernized, you know, converged infrastructure stack. Uh, you know, as you said, CI's been around for eight years. The flash stack's been in the marketplace about two years and has had tremendous growth in that time frame as a result. So you know, we, we continue to try to drive simplification, automation, um, a different consumption model, uh, how you maintain it from a cost perspective is different. So it has a, 
a very unique value proposition compared to other CIs in the marketplace. You know, uh, one of the founders of Wikibon, David Floyer, he went, when, when the flash wave started, he, was, he said to companies, it's database, database, database. There's right. so much opportunity to really transform both the economics as well as the business, business productivity. Uh, it wasn't the first use case that happened in converged infrastructure, but right. definitely somewhere Pure's uh, you know Very fo strong. focus has been. Hey, talk about you know wh what are some of the results? What do customers see when they move to CI for you know business critical applications like database? Key. key. So um, you know if you look at the the uh, the timing that it takes to develop an application, a lot of that is you know how easy are you able to grab the data, create a usable format of that do your development test cases and then move it back into production. So the way that the flash stack and the pure uh, flash arrays allow you to take that data, uh, you don't have to necessarily copy it and create replicas, it's very fast and easy and we've seen developers cut down 25, 30% of the development time on an SAP database or an Oracle database, right? So it's drastically different um, you know, than what they've been used to in the past. All right, so Mike, you, you lived for years on the Cisco side of the equation, and, yes. and, and now, now you're a partner at Cisco. Give us, what's it like to be a Cisco partner these days? Uh, they've got dozens of partnerships on the storage side, so Correct. how do they make Pure you know, feel special, yet yeah. you know, understand kind of the cooperative nature of our industry? Well, I, you know, I think, I think what we're trying to make sure we do here is focus on the customer outcome, right? So we are really, um, you know, working day in and day out to make sure that whatever we do drives business value to the customer. And that is what separates, you know, the partnership from others. So when you, when you take a look at that, it's given us the ability to grow uh, the amount of resources that Cisco and Pure can contribute into the marketplace. Um, it also has allowed us to help develop new lines of business for some of our other partners in the ecosystem. Um, you know, but it's 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 very competitive as you call out. But you know, there's still uh, a great partnership here, and uh, Cisco's been very supportive of our growth. Yeah, it, it's been a few years since I'd been to a, attended a Cisco live myself, but feels that the attendees and the focus of the show has gone through a bit of a transformation. We're sitting here in the DevNet zone. Lots of people here coding. I walk through the world of solutions. Right. Uh, it's not just networking. You know, right. networking is a big piece. What, what have you seen changing over the few years? You know, how's that impact Pure? And just personally, what, you know, what do you look at this ecosystem? Yeah. So I, I think, you know, it, it, going back to what I said earlier, it's all about driving value for the outcome of the customer. What is the business challenge they're solving? Uh, what is the opportunity they're seizing? And how can we develop a more agile platform that allows their, you know, software um, teams to really take advantage of that. So really that's what we're focused on is, is what can we build horizontally that makes the platform more cloud friendly, more automated, and then you can drive down to some specific vertical uh, value propositions within that, whether it's automotive industry, airline industry, um, you know, healthcare industry, et cetera. So that's, that's really you know, where I've seen a transition from. It's not as much about speeds and feeds of the infrastructure, it's about the higher level outcome for the customer business. Yeah, uh, when, when it comes to Pure's business in general and flash tax specifically, a, a, any differences in here in the, 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 the European geographies uh, compared to the United States that you could comment on? Um, not really, I think it, from a flash adoption period, um, the adoption rate has been higher for all flash arrays in the United States. Sure. Um, as you move to Europe, we're seeing an acceleration of that here. What we saw probably about two years ago in the United States. So there's actually a ton of excitement here now in terms of uh, the opportunity for, for you know, the flash stack and, and what flash can do for that. Yeah, well, I it's interesting. You mentioned for, for flash and even for converged infrastructure, there's still a large percentage of the market that hasn't kind of dove in. Correct. I, any commentary as to you know what's holding people back, or you know some, some aha moments that you've had customers right. that those that haven't gone for the simplicity of converged or hyperconverged, right. you know that, that they should get on board. Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at <coughs> Flash in general, it was focused on um, you know high IOPS uh, input output performance requirements initially. Virtualization, b virtual desktops were very big, and then you know, your higher performance applications now. Now that you've seen, you know, what we've been able to drive in terms of full functionality across the, um, the platform, it's not just about flash and performance, it actually is about a storage platform now, and the economics of the entire support are making it, you know, more, 
more palatable now to move other workloads. So I think you'll continue to see this expansion. I think Gartner and IDC, you know, talk about the next three to five years, you'll see a much greater, greater density of applications moving on to Flash versus, you know, what it was in the past. Um, you know, we're actually releasing very soon and we'll be integrating into Flash Stack, um, you know, other, other platforms that we have around Flash Blade, uh, which is real focused on unstructured data, uh, things that wasn't necessarily uh, rows and columns uh, from a, you know, a block storage perspective, and I think you will see that, you know, help drive some of this disruption and transition in that, in that space. Okay, Mike, as we look into 2018, what should customers look to find uh, from the Pure and Cisco partnership? Absolutely, so, um, you know, we'll continue to drive more tools with Flash Stack, uh, that allow you to more easily and rapidly deploy the system itself. Um, we will also be looking toward new use cases that are very relevant in this space um, to capture you know, the demands of the customer. So things around business intelligence, things around artificial intelligence, we'll scale that out. Uh, and you'll also look at seeing us uh, drive toward more um, scalable foundational elements of a storage platform, right? So those are some of the things that you'll definitely see uh, from us moving forward. All right, well Mike Blendy, really appreciate all the updates on Pure, on Flash Stack, and, and your partnership okay. with Cisco. We'll be back with lots more coverage here from Cisco Live Europe 2018 in Barcelona. I'm Stu Miniman, you're watching theCUBE.